So NFL 2K2, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 2 via my emulator. This game is, to me, a version of 2K that doesn't get talked about enough. It is, quite, to me, it's a, it's a preview of what people love about 2K5, but it's actually a little different from 2K5. The player models are different. Uh, they're a little thicker maybe a little wider than what the 2K5 models are. 2K5 models are probably more accurate, but the 2K2 models are more arcade-like. Um, 2K2 plays like a fun NFL arcade football game, but by no means is it unacceptable as a sim. And I would make the argument that it is still far superior to a lot, a lot of what you get out of a modern Madden game. Um, the physics of the game are crisp, it's not it there are it's obviously built on animation but it doesn't feel like animation heavy. EA has always been an animation driven sports franchise. They love to capture animations and run them in the right moment, right? When they did it well, it works. Look at NBA Live 2005, Madden 2005, uh which I'll do some more videos on on this channel because I have a better way of capturing the footage. But let's take a look at some NFL 2K2 here, and just show you a little bit of what I what I mean. Um, this is just a play I just ran, actually, uh, and I'm playing as the Packers against the Eagles here. If you just watch the physics here, you see, look at the, the, the cut, the motion, the contact, multiple tackles. You know, it's not, it, it's crisp, and it's not, uh, it doesn't feel animation driven even though there's obviously animations involved. If you look, watch the initial contact and then the secondary contact, what you're seeing here makes you feel like, okay, physics are crisp because when you make the initial contact, it doesn't stop them. It drives you towards a secondary uh, hit. And actually, when you think about it, that's what they've been telling you, the boom system or whatever they call it, Madden 24, 25, whatever it's called now that that's the driver of it, right? That that's what makes it special. And honestly, man, the term Madden is okay. It's it's fine, you know? But this is, to me, what 2K2 does so well. Look at that. Boom, one, two, three, multiple contacts. So now let's get into uh, current play here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. The only thing, you know, on the current, on these, these games, I'm not in love with. I'm not in love with, like, you know, some of the audibles are not easy to do. Um, let's see, actually. Oh, whoops. And I caught it. Nice one handed catch. Nice. I mean, you can see there also, what I like about that play is if you look at him, you know, again, you know, the, the catch animations in this game are also pretty varied. Like, no, no two plays really look exactly the same. And this isn't a game that was produced. This is 2K2. So this game came out in, like, late 2001, I think. Um, pretty impressive. You know, get over the graphics. As I always say on this channel, gameplay is, is paramount, not graphics. So please don't, you know, don't, don't ding this game based on graphics. Graphics is just a very, very small part of what makes a game fun. Um, it can can it hinder you? Yeah, of course. But this is if you if you think the graphics on this are gonna kill you, then I mean it's really not that bad. Um, I am playing this, like I said, on an emulator, so it's a little cleaned up. But when Two K Two came out on the Dreamcast and on the PlayStation Two, uh, I think it came out on Xbox. Not a hundred percent on that. I think it did. I recommend it on the PlayStation 2. It's the first NFL 2K game that came out on your PlayStation 2, by the way. So it's actually significant in that sense. Before the, the 2K2 football game, uh, PlayStation did not get any of the Sega Sports games. And this is Sega Sports before they adopted the ESPN partnership. Because at the time, ESPN was in a partnership with Konami on their uh, sports titles. So you what you're you know what you got here is the pre ESPN sports uh football game uh for 2K and the first Sega sports game that came over to the PlayStation 2. 
at least the first Sega football game. Um, so if you have a PlayStation 2, I I beyond strongly urge you to pick up this game. This is going to be cheaper than 2K5. 2K5 is great. This is not a knock on it. But I think from an arcade standpoint, um, you know, you could have a lot of fun you know, playing 2K2. So you get a little interception there. You have a lot of fun with this game. A lot of fun. It is... Uh, you see, they're going to diagnose this. Oh, how sweet it is. Yes, yeah, sweet, but it was hardly luck, Peter. Even when you're in perfect position, intercepting a pass is no picnic. You got a point there. A little luck, but... Yeah, I mean, you're going to have a lot of fun with this game. It's, like I said, more... It's even more of an arcade... Like, 2K5 is a, is a better sim than Madden, right? Well, this is more of an arcade version of that, but you're you're still going to enjoy, you know, most of what you like about Oh, nice catch. That was a nice catch. Uh so let me talk about what I love about 2K football games and Madden games too from this era, but I'll keep it to 2K, especially this game. Um it's player scaling. You know, one of the critiques of current Madden is that the player, uh, the the trajectory of the football? You can see the sponsors there: FedEx, Motorola, and Staples. Nice. The trajectory of the football in the uh, current Madden is under a lot of scrutiny uh, because they wanted to make sure that hey, you can get a ball to go over the top, right? It seemed like defenders could always knock the football down. Well, one of the things that this game does so well, and 2K has always done so well in their football games, is ball trajectory. If you want to loft the ball, you can loft it. You want to do you want to have one on one to challenge the football and like go up and make a play. Remember, 2K is the Randy Moss cover of football games. So one of the biggest emphasis on 2K football was your ability to uh to take a ball, throw it up in the air and allow you as the user to get up underneath it and make a play. They wanted that part of the gameplay to be prevalent. So ball trajectory in 2K was always was always excellent. One of the other things 2K does very well is also player modeling and player scaling. Like the football, the uh, wow, it took a terrible sack there. It took way too long. I was staring down one receiver and not paying attention to the rush. Um, that was just terrible. So the the player models are scaled so well that they do they're not too big where they where the ball is going to get knocked down every time but they're also not too small where it's like an unrealistic uh get right oh i i was trying to throw it to uh triangle and i threw it to the wrong guy so that or he actually you know what i think i threw it to the right guy he actually just went up and took the ball away i got to kick the field goal here I can't. I want to go for it, but I'm like it's first first quarter. You don't you don't go for it here. So the player modeling, the player scaling, and by scaling I mean their size versus the field itself. In current Maddens, the reason why up until this year ball trajectory was terrible, it's better this year. But in previous games it was terrible, is because the players are too big. When you throw a ball on an out route or on an angle, um, you know, a fade route to like a corner, what happens is the ball doesn't get over the top simply because the players are too big. If you look at if 2K and even older Maddens, you can throw the ball over the top because the players are scaled perfectly to the field. They're not too big. They're not too small. That's a huge impact. So it's not just the ball trajectory itself. It's the scaling of the player. And you get that vibe also on things like open field running. In 2K, which did it better, I think, than Madden, the player models are a little bigger even than in the old Madden 2005. But, and from 2003 to 2005, Madden is almost identical in player scaling. From 2001 to 2002, uh, the, the, the Madden scaling of players is very similar, meaning like they're kind of bigger, and it's, it makes it harder to run in the open field without contact. 2K actually has it to me perfectly 
uh, perfectly scaled from I think 2K uh, 2K one through 2K two, and then it's pretty good again in 2K five. And what I mean by that is, whoops, uh, scaled. I accidentally hit my screen by accident instead of the the button. What I mean by that is when you are out in the open field, the player models are not going to just always run into each other because they're too big, but they also, the, the game's physics allows you to make moves in contact and bounce away uh, so that you have a perfect blend of like open space and being able to handle contact through the physics. Now, again, one of my critiques of this game, you know, just from uh, the modern controls on a football game, it's so easy to like audible and change 20 things at once. I will say when you, and I picked a uh, the wrong play, it doesn't matter. When, you, when you're when you playing this game, one of the things you're going to probably hate is that you're just not going to be able to, um, <clears throat> you know, you can't audible the routes as easily. I mean, I probably just forgot some of these controls, but one of the things I don't like is like, like I want to change the route, right? Like I want to get a plant or something like that. In 2K5, it's actually very easy to do that. This game, I actually can't. I can audible the. I can get a guy in motion, and I can audible the whole play. But I'm not sure how to like. Oh wow, forced it. Uh, I'm not sure how to like change the route. So like little things like that are kind of a pain. Um, it, again, this is think of this as the arcade version of 2K5. So strip it down a little bit in terms of what you're getting. But enjoy the gameplay. That's what it's all about. The gameplay is so much fun. And again, try the game. It's easy. Download it if you have a, have it for uh, an emulator. Or pick it up from a retro game store. NFL 2K2. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Um, you know, just from, from, again, like all the little things I've been talking about, which make this game so crisp and so easy to pick up and play. As soon as you move your player, you're going to, and you see that first big hit, you're going to literally be like, wow, I cannot believe, like, again, I hate to compare to Madden, but you really get to have a hard time playing Madden when you start playing games like this, because the physics are so much better. Sega Sports, I mean, they one of the things I miss the most about Sega having its own console is that they, they made all these sports games, and they did such a great job. I mean, obviously... You know, 2K, visual concepts, they, I mean, they kept it up, you know. But one of the reasons 2K is still alive, right, 2K basketball, is from this era. But we forget, they made baseball, they made hockey, and they made football. And, you know, the sports gamers and video gamers in general, we were all better off, as they score there. We were all better off when you had competition from studios making all these different titles because they all had their strengths and weaknesses. Look, some were not great, some were good, uh, and some were in between, and that's fine. But we just had so much competition amongst these different IPs. And, you know, it was very cool when 2K2 came over to the PlayStation 2 because now you got to have 2K on an e on a, a, to me, a better controller and on a system that was just, you know, that obviously already had a great library. Um, and obviously this is, and the reason why, for those who don't, you know, know the timeline of it, the Dreamcast officially ended, I believe in 2001, they stopped producing them and Sega started porting over their stuff really initially really to, to Xbox, but they started putting titles on, you know, the GameCube and their characters on there. And also on, uh, you know, eventually on the PlayStation two, and 2K, as you see, look at how he runs. How about that? Hey, Madden, can you run up the middle? You can't do that. You get smoked. You get absolutely smoked. In this game, I just took that kickoff and ran it up the middle. And look at the field position I got. But when they started bringing over these titles um, to PlayStation 2, especially this one, that was a huge signal in, like, you know, the end of Sega in terms of their console competition. Um, and we all benefited from it, honestly, because, uh, you know, the sales, everybody had a PlayStation 2 and very few people comparatively had a Sega Dreamcast. So as you see here, the drop back, just throw the underneath. 
Look at that stiff arm. Little spin move. Nice. And, I, and that's not Barry Sanders out there. Well, look at that move. And, and you, I mean, can you do that in Madden? Yeah, of course you can. But look how fast. It doesn't feel like heavily animated. This just, look at the speed of the gameplay here. It doesn't feel sluggish. Look at this little boop, quick stiff arm and then a little spin move, pivot, and then the tackle. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Are you telling me this isn't crisp gameplay here? Yeah, you could have a field day with this bad boy. Whoa. Oh, yeah, okay. By the way, and I said it's going to the fade in this game, that little out fade, that's the route of 2K. You know how Madden, the route of Madden is the cross? I mean, everybody could say it was you. It was the slant 20 years ago, it was the slant. In 2000, I mean, there's no question, 2004, 2005, whatever, the slant was the route. The route of modern Maddens, we all know it. And don't lie, it's the crosser. We all feel comfortable with the crosser, and we don't necessarily love the other the other stuff, right? Okay, the reason why is because of what I was saying before, ball, ball trajectory and scaling. When you run a crossing route, you get to see the whole body of the player. You got the you got the face. If the player is out in front of the defender, left to right, you throw it out in front, and you don't have that risk of the guy swatting it down. You don't have to worry about the problems of scaling and ball trajectory. Well, in 2K, you didn't have those issues. That fade route was the was the route. Okay? Anything where you could high point the football. Oh, nice. I was broke away from that. Anything where you could high point the football or get it over the top at an angle, I mean, they that was really the route. And in 2K5, I run that route probably like a thousand times over. Um, you know, it's every big play that you need, you just you can run that route. But in the and in this game, to a lesser extent, you know, it's it's also the route. But you you can just force it because you have this thing called maximum passing, which is basically full control where I can uh, decide where to lead the ball and whatever. So I just force the ball up in a way anyway, and make my players go for it. See that touchdown. I don't care what the route is. I get the ball out where I want, and when I control the receiver, I can trust I'll make the play because it's not overly animated. It's very loose. See that? That was nice there. He just broke off the route, come back, ran through the defender. So anyway, we're going to do more videos on this. I'll do some more breakdowns on 2K2 and any other requests that I get. But I just wanted to, to do a quick uh, video here just to show you a little bit of what makes NFL 2K2, uh, I would say, a hidden gem because I never hear anybody talking about it. Pick it up for your PlayStation 2. Get it on your emulator. If you have a Dreamcast, go ahead and play it on there if you want. But I recommend it on the PlayStation 2. I recommend it on your emulator. And you will have fun with it. And that's what we like to do here in the corner arcade. All right, thanks everybody.